Hi, just a quick good morning. I need to run to work, but welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Trains were such a mess coming home. It was so full, I couldn't get on it. And then the next train was 10 minutes late. So I ended up waiting 25 minutes to get a train. I've just made dinner. It's quarter past seven. I'm usually home by six. But anyway, here's what we've got. We've got a kind of like katsu curry with broccoli. dark chocolate I'm hoping it's more chocolate <laughs> mm. mm. I'm gonna eat more I shouldn't have bought these I'm gonna eat more I'm, I'm having one more two more no one just one and they're going in the drawer <laughs> I have made an impromptu eyebrow appointment <laughs> because I just feel like I don't like how they look and like I don't know really it's been bugging me recently I think because I've been editing a lot more of my videos so I'm looking at myself a lot this is the before I'm on my way now I literally booked it this morning I used to get them done when I was younger I used to get them threaded 
and they just got thinner and thinner and thinner every single time that I went they would just take more and more off and like yeah okay they were neater but they were so thin and like I have some photos of myself from when I used to get them done and it just doesn't even look like me this is my before I'll show you the after I mean I might not even look that different but I might you don't know hopefully I don't look worse because <laughs> that would just be a waste of money okay oh my god here's my after I'm like instantly getting a spot <laughs> I think it does look better but I also think that was traumatic for my face <laughs> the face is really itchy <laughs> but I can't scratch it Is literally just <laughs> working. <laughs> Coming home in the evening, I don't do anything. And then waking up again to work again. I've done three exercises and I've been there for like half an hour, I think. I just so can't be bothered. I probably should have eaten lunch before I came, but I wasn't that hungry. And now I feel like I don't have the energy, so I probably should have done that. And I'm just gonna stretch and leave, but at least I came. I'm home from work and I'm gonna make dinner. I think I'm gonna make a cottage pie kind of situation and hopefully make enough that I can have the leftovers for lunch the next two days. I've been really bad at like the meal prepping my lunches this week. Like I've managed to eat fine, but <laughs> I think it's just easier if it's already ready and I just grab it and go. Like I wasted so much time this morning making that bagel. So yeah, just gonna throw lots of stuff together and see how it goes.
this week has lasted forever. <laughs> oh my god. Today is Thursday. I've got my book club today. I actually finished the book two days ago on Tuesday. God Killer by Hannah Canner. Hannah Canner. And the reason I like didn't even mention it on this video that I finished the book is because I don't even know what to say about it. Like, I just, I don't know. And I don't know what I'm gonna say to the girls tonight. <laughs> Hopefully someone else will like have some coherent thoughts and then I can like jump in on them and just be like, oh, I think that too. Because like, I don't know what was happening in that book. I'll explain the book a little bit. It's actually three main characters. There's three POVs. One of them is a god killer. One of them is a girl who is like tied to a god. And one of them is like a knight. Oh, he used to be a knight and now he's a baker. They all need to go on a pilgrimage to where the like gods live or like where most of the gods that remain still live. But there was a war and the king killed nearly all of the gods and the gods are like god of light god of fire god of midwifery <laughs> like god of good fortune god of war the god that's attached to the girl is like the god of lies even as i'm explaining it i'm like this just sounds so <sighs> made up i don't know like complicated for no reason anyway so i'm reading it but the gods have very similar names so i was getting a bit confused by that and then I don't really know. There was like a little bit of romance, but I didn't really see the point in it. And I, I don't know, it's one of those things like the signs are there, it's gonna happen. But to me, it just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like that's actually gonna happen. Like if this was real life, which it's not because it's a book, <laughs> this wouldn't happen. The ending was actually the best part, not because the book finished. <laughs> but because it kind of was like everything was revealed like the god killer she has a couple of like secrets throughout the books and then they kind of like come to a head got more exciting towards the end which you would expect because it's in the series i think it's going to be a trilogy do i think i'm going to read the next book in the series probably not i'm glad i finished it i'm glad i read it and I don't know it's definitely not my favorite thing and i think because i'm also reading throne of glass right now that's so good so gripping so much better that i don't know i'm just i'm lost for words but not in a good way that's this evening at seven and before that we need to take jules to the vet and obviously i've got to go to work so that's my day sorry about that book rant trick we're gonna trap a cat <laughs> so we can take it to the vet oh the fuck it's candy it's not really working is it we're we'll getting there i'm putting more and more in there Wholesome and 
Yeah, I love it. <laughs> okay, I've been home for about half an hour, I think, from book club. I just had a snack because I was starving. And I'm about to get ready for bed. I'm just in bed waiting for Leo. He went in the bathroom before me, so I'm just waiting to go in the bathroom, but I'm sat in the bed. But yeah, like I said on my way home, book club was so nice. It's so like wholesome and like cute and nice. It gives me such like a happy feeling, like meeting the girls and like talking about the books and just having like something in common already, like the love for reading certain types of books and talking about them and getting to know each other as well. Like we were talking about pets and kind of like describing a little bit where we live, stuff in the local area, because we all live in the same borough of London. And it's just so nice. I've made like a little WhatsApp group so we can all like chat a little bit. It's just very wholesome and cute and nice. And we picked our next book. Obviously we spoke about the book that I... What's up? I think Jules always gets a bit funny after we take her to the vet. One girl like absolutely loved the book and she's got the second one and she's so excited. And then one girl came late and then she said that she wasn't sure how she felt about it and I just felt so like vindicated because I was like, I also don't know how I feel about it. I'm not sure, I'm still not sure actually, even after we've spoken about it. I don't know what to rate it on Goodreads because I don't know if it's fine. I kind of, part of me wants to read the second book just to see if it's like actually gonna go anywhere. But the other part of me is like, I didn't enjoy it that much that maybe I shouldn't bother reading the second one. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, we decided the next book in that we're gonna read and I think it's called Faye Bringer. I'm just gonna search it. Faye Bound. I think I'm gonna pick it up tomorrow when I, cause I get paid tomorrow. Thank God. <laughs> thank the Lord. Um, yeah, thank God I get paid tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna buy the book on my way home from the bookshop that we do book club in. I could have bought it today, but like, you know, I get paid tomorrow. And, oh, you're in here. I was gonna. Yeah, I think that was my update for now. Just happy that I've been to book club and I'm making new friends in the local area. I feel like I'm becoming very much part of a community, but it is weird like knowing that I kind of founded the book club, like I'm the founder and it exists just because I thought it'd be fun to meet people. So I think I'm kind of just like grateful that people actually like turn up and come and want to talk about the books and hang out. <laughs> it's all very exciting, it's all very new. So yeah, we've done two way ups now and the third one is in the diary need to buy the book, read the book. I hope this book is good because the first one we read, I d didn't really vibe with. The second one, ugh, still. So third time is the charm. I hope this is a good one. They've all been fantasy books. So maybe next month we'll do like a mystery or a thriller. But we basically like have a pot of suggestions, like I have an envelope full of suggestions and every month we like just gonna keep adding more suggestions to it and then we pick two books at random and then we vote so we vote for Feybound. The other suggestion was a more of a romance book than a fantasy book so I think that's why this one won. I'm sad <laughs> that it's not Friday night. It's Thursday. One more day to go and then I've actually got a long weekend because I'm off on Monday that means I'm, I need to get stuff done tomorrow at work because I'm not gonna be there on Monday. But we can worry about that tomorrow. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna brush my teeth actually first. I'm gonna continue reading the Throne of Glass series. I think I'm gonna finish it soon. I have kind of broken out from where I got that wax on Tuesday. Like, <laughs> that's not so cute. But I do think my eyebrows look better. I'm kind of used to it now, but I feel like they, they're a bit better, even though I've got spots now. <laughs> it's kind of worth it. Um, so yeah, good night, see you in the morning. If 
stuff that I bought on my way home from work. I've had a bath, I washed my hair, I just didn't film any of it because I don't have a reason why. <laughs> so I've got my receipt, I spent £41, I saved £1.75 for having a club card. It's boots and I also went to the bookshop to buy the book club book that I was talking about yesterday. I just ran out of my moisturiser so I bought a new one. It's the same brand that I had before which is e.l.f. I literally just realised that I have this moisturiser youth balm i think is beauty by that my sister gave me and i forgot that i had it so i didn't actually need to buy any moisturizer and this one's not even the same one as i had before it's just the same brand so now i've got two but it's good i want to have like a morning skincare routine and a night skincare routine usually i only wash my face like once a day and i feel like my skin is suffering like it's so dry and like not it's best so i was like let me buy some more stuff to be honest probably not the best thing to do buy all new skincare because then my face is probably gonna be like whoa what are you doing but <laughs> that's what i've done yeah i bought this moisturizer plus the one that i already have and then i i'm vlogging and then i also got a serum clarifying serum and as well as the serum, I got this um, face mist, which is kind of like a toner. I'm doing like classic like beauty blogger thing. It says here actually the steps to cleanse, tone, treat, moisturize, protect. The so protect is like SPF, which I already have an SPF. So I think right now I will just use this Youth Bomb stuff because I feel like it's going to be the richest moisturizer I've got for me to sleep with. Smells really familiar. It kind of smells like tequila. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. That's that. And I also got this Witch Hazel Skin Solution Soft one just because I've got these spots from the wax. And I thought maybe if I put something on it, it would make them better, it might make them worse. That's the thing with skincare. You never know what's going to react well and what's not going to react well. So. I might, I'm gonna put some of that on as well. It has a day side and a night side. Apply to spot as and when needed. So <laughs> who knows if it actually does anything. But that is my boots haul. And the book that I got, the book, book club book for March is this one, which is called Feybound. I think it's quite new. Like I had to buy a hardback cover one I'm like getting a little book collection to be honest but I thought I would buy the book club books just so that I had them as like a memory rather than just like inside my kindle so yeah that's fun I'm not gonna start reading it yet because I need to finish the books that I'm already reading like 10 different books <laughs> I need to finish some of those before I start reading this but I've got until I think the 28th or the 29th of March to finish it. So lots of time, it's like 400 pages. It's the third book in the book club, another fantasy. I just really hope I like this one. Please be a good book. So yeah, I'll see you in the morning. Tomorrow we're going to Bournemouth for the day. Good night. Let's go.
we're at the train station and we picked up snacks for the train, some mixed berries, and then we also got some donuts. Vegan cinnamon scroll or something, donuts. One each. They smell really good. They're actually cross town donuts, but they're sold by Venugo. Venugo. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Now we're at Starbucks. I've got a matcha. Coconut milk matcha. Yeah. Pretty good. So I kind of decided halfway through Saturday that I would just do the week in my life as like a work week in my life. We were visiting Leah's family and so I just, I filmed some stuff, we went out for lunch and then I didn't film us hanging out with his family and I didn't film us on the way home but our train was like so messed up and actually took us hours to get home, <laughs> which was like really annoying. I feel like I did have a lot of train issues generally in the week like i don't know what was going on trains were messed up there was no strikes but it was just not great on sunday i filmed a little clips of stuff because i was thinking of doing like a short but i didn't <laughs> sorry yeah so on sunday i met up with a friend from work and we went to puppy yoga together which was really nice and then we went to spitalfields market had some noodles had some matcha and it was really nice i feel like i don't really hang out with people much <laughs> Other than, of course, my boyfriend and my sister. Other than them, I do have friends, but I am just fairly antisocial. If you're my friend and you're watching this, I'm so sorry that I never see you. I think it was the pandemic it just ruined my social skills. Anyway, that is not the point of the video, and that's not why I started talking. I think I'm just I'm just oversharing now. Um, that's it. That's the end. That is the weekly vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give me a like if you did. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Let me know if you enjoy the weekly vlog. I will keep doing them if you do, but if you prefer other videos, then let me know. And I will see you next week. Bye.